Over the top to Butler. Open in! Jimmy Butler! Only after they had won three straight games to start this series. So it was a game seven. They stand eye to eye with history, and they did not blink. The Heat are going to the NBA Finals. Butler down the other run, snuck behind the defense. The head fake, the bank shot won't go, but a foul. And Jimmy Butler's grabbing his right knee. I'm worried about the Miami Heat, and, and here's one for you right here, Malika. It's time for the Miami Heat and Jimmy Butler to go their separate ways. Question. If I were to ask you to describe Jimmy Butler in one phrase, what would you say? Jimmy Butler is one of the few superstars in the NBA where you can't find a predictable answer to this question. For LeBron it would be sustained longevity or the GOAT by some, Steph Curry would be the greatest 3 point shooter to ever live, KD would be arguably the greatest scorer to ever live, both Nikola Jokic and Luka Doncic would be one of the greatest offensive weapons ever, but Jimmy Butler? Well with Jimmy, most responses would fall into two different buckets. You either think he's one of the greatest playoff risers of all time, that's accomplished near impossible NBA Finals runs, or you think he's a 34 year old with no ring, lumping him into the same category as guys like James Harden, Damian Lillard, Chris Paul, and Russell Westbrook. When I saw this community post the other day ago ranking these small forwards against each other, when I saw the results, the very first thing I thought was, if this poll was posted last summer, these numbers would be completely different. Jimmy Butler would have for sure been winning. So what's really happened in a year's time that's made the NBA media do a complete 180 shift on the perspective of Jimmy Butler? The date is July 6th, 2019. The Philadelphia 76ers, Los Angeles Clippers, Portland Trailblazers, and Miami Heat all made a four-way trade that day that sent Jimmy Butler from the 76ers to the Miami Heat. Little did Jimmy Butler know, this was the birth of playoff Jimmy. Jimmy Butler and the Heat wasted very little time, already establishing themselves as title contenders, because the Heat, the first year with Jimmy Butler in the NBA bubble, made their very first NBA Cinderella run. The Heat as the 5 seed, swept the 4 seeded Pacers, beat the 1 seeded Bucks in 5 games, and beat the 3 seeded Celtics in 6 games, capping off one of the greatest finals runs in NBA history. Prior to this, the only other 5 seed or worse to make the NBA Finals was the 1999 New York Knicks. However, despite the enormous efforts from Jimmy Butler, the Heat lost in 6 games in the NBA Finals to LeBron and the Lakers. It took just one season to let the rest of the league know that the Miami Heat were legit again. However, the next two seasons, Heat fans like to forget about. In 2021, Giannis and the Bucks got their sweet revenge on the Heat, sweeping them in the first round. In 2022, the Miami Heat finished the regular season as the number one seed. After they cruised through the Hawks and 76ers in the first two rounds, they were met by the Boston Celtics in the conference finals once again. The Heat were tied 3-3 with the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. Butler in Game 7 had a chance to ice the game and bring the Heat to the finals once again, but this happens. But the Heat would be back next season. In a first round series against the one seeded Milwaukee Bucks, where most people said that this play in tournament game was a contest to see who would get slaughtered by the Bucks, it was the number 8 seeded Miami Heat who slaughtered the whole Eastern Conference, beating the Bucks, Knicks, and Celtics to make the finals once again. If there was any doubts about the Heat's finals run in 2020, they were completely silenced with the Heat's second Cinderella run to the finals. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. At this point, Jimmy Butler was pretty much seen as the pinnacle of playoff performance in the NBA. Everyone was in awe of what Jimmy Butler could do, with a bunch of undrafted players by his side. But just like the title of this video, this godlike persona would fade away just as quick as it would appear. In 2024, the Miami Heat once again finished as the 8th seed in the East, just like last year. Everyone in the league was thinking the exact same thing. It's gonna happen again, isn't it? The Miami Heat, who honestly this season improved their roster compared to last year. They drafted Jaime Hawkes, who was a very good young player, Tyler Hero was healthy, the Heat picked up Terry Rozier two months before, but the worst possible case scenario happened to the Heat. 
snuck behind the defense, the head fake, the bank shot won't go, but a foul. And Jimmy Butler's grabbing his right knee. Butler was out for good. What was looking like a back-to-back eight-seeded takeover of the Eastern Conference was halted by an unfortunate event. The 2024 NBA playoffs completely shifted how the NBA media thinks of Jimmy Butler. Getting injured in the play-in tournament was actually one of the best things that Jimmy Butler could have done for his reputation as a playoff killer. The Heat were not beating the Celtics this year, no matter what shenanigans the Heat pulled off. The Celtics were by far the best team in basketball, and they were way too stacked to lose to an 8 seed again. If Butler would have played, well, the Heat may have snuck out another win, maybe making it Celtics in 6 instead of Celtics in 5. This would have significantly damaged Butler's persona as a playoff underdog. I think the 2024 NBA playoffs really woke the NBA media up to the reality of the Heat and Jimmy Butler. So it was a game seven. They stand eye to eye with history, and they did not blink. The Heat are going to the NBA final. So before we go anywhere, can I just ask one question? So how the f*** do the Heat actually make these seemingly impossible finals runs? Well, I think it boils down to three main reasons. The first, and to many people's surprise, the least important reason of the three, is actually Playoff Jimmy. When looking at the numbers from Butler in the regular season versus Playoff numbers, there's an increase, don't get me wrong, but not as much as people think. Well, okay, how about we look at the numbers from the two finals runs that Jimmy Butler made, the real Playoff Jimmy. When looking at the stats of Butler, of the 2020 and 2023 playoffs, I can really only see two playoff series where his numbers are significantly better than his regular season numbers. That being the 2020 NBA Finals where Butler was close to averaging a 26 point triple double on 55% shooting, or the 2023 first round against the Bucks where Jimmy Butler was completely lighting up the city of Milwaukee, averaging 37 points, 6 boards, 5 assists on 60% shooting and 44% from 3. Two legendary series, but really nothing else stands out to me here as legendary. The next two reasons, and the real answers for the Miami Heat playoff runs, the two reasons go hand in hand, that being the Miami Heat's coach with Eric Spolstra, and the Heat's ability to bring in under the radar talent and develop them into world class role players in the playoffs. The Heat have picked up Caleb Martin, Duncan Robinson, Max Struess, Haywood Highsmith, and Gabe Vincent, all undrafted players, and have developed them into killers. And they drafted others like Tyler Hero, Jaime Hawkins Jr., and Nikola Jovic, who they've developed really well. The Miami Heat's organization definitely deserves their flowers for finding these hidden gems and turning them into top tier role players that fit into any lineup. And of course, none of this would be possible without arguably the greatest coach of all time, Eric Spolstra, who is really the master of making in-game adjustments, maximizing the full potential of the rosters he has, and game planning against opponents. What the man has done with so little in his career is insane. So what the f*** happened to Jimmy Butler and what's up with the Heat today? When watching basketball, or any other sport for that matter, it's really easy to get caught up in the moment. Jimmy Butler in 2020 and 2023 was seen as that guy going into the NBA Finals, and rightfully so. Jimmy Butler has only done something that one NBA legend in the history of the league has ever done before. Make multiple finals appearances with a team that's a 5 seed or worse. Do you know who the only other NBA legend that's done this before? Hakeem Olajuwon, except he actually won the two NBA Finals he got to, winning in 1994 as a 5 seed, winning back to back titles in 1994 as a 5 seed and 1995 as a 6 seed. But I think after the 2024 playoffs, people really came back to their senses with Jimmy Butler. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I think the reason why it feels like Jimmy Butler is one of the best playoff elevators is because you routinely get lackluster regular seasons with him. I mean, don't get me wrong, averaging 25-5 and five a game is pretty good, but we know that Jimmy Butler is capable of more. Over the past 5 seasons, Jimmy Butler has played a total of 291 games out of a possible 390 total games, playing on average only 58 games a season, missing out on around 20 games a season, accounting for the shortened seasons of 2020 and 2021. Jimmy Butler, ever since joining the Heat 5 years ago, has put up a total of 6,204 points, 1,774 rebounds, and 
1,669 total assists, which is pretty good, until you consider that 13 other players around the league have a minimum of this stat line. Giannis, DeMar DeRozan, James Harden, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, Julius Randle, Nikola Jokic, DeMontis Sabonis, Pascal Siakam, DeJounte Murray, Jason Tatum, Luka Doncic, and Shea, all have stats that match or eclipse Jimmy Butler's. In 2024, Jimmy Butler put up 1,246 points, 318 rebounds, and 298 assists. Do you know how many other players have over 1,200 points, 300 boards, and 300 assists last season? 21 other players. There's an argument to be made that Jimmy Butler is not a top 20 player in the regular season. While Jimmy Butler is really the prime example of the regular season not meaning much for the playoffs, if Jimmy Butler could put more effort into the regular season while still sparing his body for the postseason, the Heat's playoff runs could be so much easier than they were. Just imagine this year if the Heat got the 4 or 5 seed instead of battling in the play-in tournament for a playoff spot, this would give Butler time to rest and recover for the postseason, which might have prevented his injury, which would have given the Heat a way better chance of making another deep run. These lackluster regular season results also lead into my next flaw with Jimmy, his inconsistency. I mean, it's really a toss up whether you're going to get the second coming of Michael Jordan, Chris Middleton with a little more defense, or a guy that'll even play at all. With other superstars around the league, you know what you're getting from them night in and night out. LeBron will give you that consistent 27-7-7 a game, while being involved with pretty much every area of the game. Shea is going to get you that 30 points a game on a bunch of drives, isos, and free throws. Giannis is going to consistently put pressure on the rim and give you 30-11 and 11 a night while kicking it out to shooters. Jokic is going to consistently score, rebound, and playmake at an elite level nightly. Steph Curry is going to get you 4-6 to six threes a game while pulling in the entire defense, making it that much easier for him to playmake. With Jimmy Butler, you never know if you're getting 48-8 with trash talk after every bucket, 16-5-5 on 13 shot attempts, or if he'll even show up and play. Inconsistent nightly efforts yield inconsistent playoff results. At the end of the day, Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat are both in a tough situation. Jimmy Butler, unless he pulls off another unreal feat, which I doubt at this point, he'll go down in history around the same area as the ringless stars of this generation like James Harden, Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, and Russell Westbrook. Players who have a couple of standout moments in their career, but ultimately didn't achieve the main goal of winning an NBA championship. The guy is a more similar basketball resume to someone like Paul George than to someone like Giannis, Jokic, Luka, or Kawhi. Someone he would probably more want to be remembered with. The Heat as a team are in a really difficult spot because they're one superstar away from being a serious championship contender, but they're also one Jimmy Butler trade away from rebuilding the team. The two finals runs from Miami in the last five years only make that line even more blurry because it shows that the Heat have the roster capability of making it deep in the playoffs, but not quite winning at all. Unless the Heat can get a superstar around Jimmy and Bam within a year from now, it's really tough to keep Jimmy Butler around because he really doesn't match the timeline on this team. Jimmy Butler next season will be turning 35 and is by far the highest paid player on this team. Bam will be turning 27, Hero will be turning 25, Jaime Hawkes will be turning 23, Nikola Jovic will be turning 21, Haywood Highsmith will be turning 28, Duncan Robinson and Terry Rozier will be turning 30. The Heat's best chance at a title contention was to get Damian Lillard last summer. Once again, unless they can pull off a miracle blockbuster trade, I think the Heat should look to deal out Jimmy Butler to a contender in exchange for young players and draft picks, while his trade value is still pretty high.